Hello guys, this is Jesus Fernandez with a new tutorial on how to use the Puzzle Mat AOB with Redshift and Maya. We are going to use the Puzzle Mat and not the Object ID because with the Puzzle Map you have the possibility or the ability to use the Selection Source with the influence of the Motion Blur and also with the influence of the Focus and not only, just the Objects and the Mask. We are going to start making a Puzzle Map. You need to go to the Render Settings and under the AOB tab you need to add the Puzzle Mat. Just select Add and here you can see the general settings for the AOB and also the specific settings. Under the mode you have to select if you want material ID or object ID. It works exactly the same but we are going to work with object ID. So we need to change to object ID. As you can see we only have three channels, red, green and blue. These ones are going to define the ID per object that we are going to use for each uh, model. Right now we are going to leave this part as it is and we are going to try to render. Now that we have the render, let's try to see the result on the puzzle mat. As you can see, here we don't have any information in the channels or in the composition. For that we will need to make a change here. Now that we have the object selected, we will need to decide the ID number per object. You can even repeat IDs. If you want the leaves and the insects to have the same ID, you just put the same number here. I'm going to label as two the insects as one the leaves and I will use the tree as number three. Now that we have the IDs ready, let's render this guy out. Actually, it's not going to work because we need to define the number per channel. So I said that the leaf, the leaves is going to be one, the insects number two, and the number three, the tree. Let's render this guy now. And now let's check again. And we can see that now we have the information on the channels. The number one, the number two, and the number three. And we have each selection mask on a different channel. That way, we can achieve the selection source and it's going to work the same way in Nuke. And let's open this guy out, select to the second viewer. You can see that we have the different layers here as masks. Let's create the second layer. If you want to add more objects here, you will need to add a new puzzle map. This is because you only have three layers here. So it's going to be four, five and six to so four, five and six. And remember to change to object ID. For these three guys, I will select the sphere, the metallic sphere as four, five, it's going to be the metal cube and six the crystal sphere. Let's render again this guy and let's go to Nuke and read again the new puzzle map. So we have everything working as it should. Red, green and blue, right? And we can see a little part here. On the puzzle map here you have the reflect refract ID and if you activate the reflect refract IDs you're going to have the influence of the puzzle map and the influence of the reflection and refraction into the puzzle map. Now let's check this guy out in Nuke. Let's reload and as you can see we now have the influence of the colors and the IDs over the selection source and you can even see the reflection of the green mask over the leaves and the insects of the object. So this kind of mask is going to affect all reflections, not only the object, but all the objects that has any kind of reflection for the ID. Again, you can change this guy to be material ID or object ID. Now I'm going to keep creating the puzzle maps that I need for this guy to work. Now that we have the result, we can see that we have three more puzzle maps here and I want to show you something. Here I selected the reflective refractive index and I have the floor here. And as you can see, every reflective or refractive source has the influence of the floor into the object ID. So if you need to mask something into a reflection or into a refraction, you can achieve this result easily and then you can work with them as masks. Also remember that I told you that with the puzzle map you can enable the motion blur also if you have any kind of effect like bulk uh, for the focus you can enable everything and render again you can see that I have a uh, focus and also I have motion blur I have the animation on my little insects here so the result here as you can see 
and you can see that we have the information for the motion blur and with a mask and also if I try to reload this guy you can see that we have the information from the depth so we have the focus information and we have also the motion blur information with the puzzle map this is going to be all for the puzzle map tutorial subscribe if you like remember that you can support my channel on patreon and if you have any comments or you want to hear about a new tutorial you can write down here and i will be glad to help you thank you so much and happy render